What is up everybody? My name is Daniel Smith, a makeup artist based in Los Angeles, California. Today I'm collaborating with Cinema Makeup School to bring you this Pride-inspired skull makeup transformation. I wanted to punch it up a bit more this Pride season, so I've added some Swarovski crystals, some rhinestones, and of course some eyeshadows. So if you want to figure out how to create this Pride skull, then just keep on watching. Now to get started with this transformation, I popped in some Sclera lenses. These are 22 millimeter lenses that cover most of my eyeball. Now the reason I put the contacts in first is for two reasons. First of all, I want my eyes to really get used to the feeling of having the Sclera lenses on my eyes. And second, if I had all of the makeup on my face and I tried to put in a giant contact lens, it might uh, get a little messy. I will be gluing a lot of rhinestones around my eyes, so I figured putting in the contacts should be the first step. Now to really get things started, I'm going to be painting myself completely white. This is a water activated face paint and I'm going to go in with a flat brush and paint myself all white. Now that I've got this first coat of white paint on my face, I'm gonna go in and draw a blueprint of where I want the mouth of the skull to be. The best way of doing this is look at your face structure and see where your teeth would normally reside inside of your mouth. Now right here, I'm hugging my cheekbone because I want to bring this all the way up and have this space be hollowed out. Hug that cheekbone, bring it down. and connect it with the mouth. I have a general idea of where the mouth is going to lie. I have a lot of lines here because I've sketched it out. I've kind of played with a few different shapes and I've picked one that I actually enjoy. Now I'm gonna go in with more water activated face paints and create a rainbow all the way across my mouth. And what I'm doing here is just flicks of paint. I really want loose brush strokes and the way to achieve this is don't get your brush completely wet. Just make it a bit damp so that it still has the texture of the brush in the makeup. continuously flicking it upward and down, creating those brush stroke moments. There, now you can see that we have very loose and free brush strokes all the way through our face and all of the colors of the pride flag. Now we're gonna go in with a rainbow eyeshadow and really accentuate what's happening here on the mouth. I'm gonna darken up the areas where the teeth are going to be and really accentuate these right here with just some black eyeshadow. While I'm applying the makeup, I wanted to pop in here and talk about the inspiration for this look. There's this really cool trend happening right now on Instagram during Pride Month where people are really stepping outside of the box and using color to really express themselves. I've seen a few rainbow skull interpretations online, so I figured I would give it a go and see how it comes out, and so far it's actually looking pretty rad. I'm making this tutorial pretty easy for anybody to grasp onto, so if you're feeling creative this Pride season, grab your favorite rainbow palette and give it a go. I challenge you to see what you come up with. Now along this line of our mouth, I'm going to be painting in the teeth of this skull and to do so I'm going to be using this lip brush and being very particular with where I'm going to be setting them. I am going to be gluing on some Swarovski crystals right on top, but I still want there to be an outline of where the teeth and the root are. Thank you. 
I've got the front four teeth. Let's see where the Swarovski crystals are going to lay on my mouth to make sure we have enough spacing for all of the crystals. Now going with a pencil brush and some black eyeshadow, I'm going in between those teeth to make sure that they meld well together and giving them a lot more room to shine. Now let's focus on the eyes, you guys. I'm going to black out the eyes with some black eyeshadow and then start gluing some rainbow rhinestones all the way around our eyes to give us more of a kaleidoscope rainbow effect. Now the rhinestones come in a variety of sizes, so I'm going to be using the thicker rhinestones closer to my eye and then let them flare out into the smaller size. Now this is definitely the most lengthy part of this tutorial. This does take some time, so you just have to be patient and start gluing those rhinestones one by one, but I promise it is definitely worth it in the long run. So I figured I'd pop in here while I'm gluing on these rhinestones and talk about what pride means to me. Now, I'm lucky enough to have a birthday in the middle of Pride Month. My birthday is on June 28th, and I've made it kind of a tradition where each year I celebrate my birthday and I also celebrate Pride in a different city. So I've had the pleasure of seeing Pride in Toronto, in New York City, in Chicago, in California, in Arizona. And in each one of these cities, I get to see so many different people and how they express themselves and what Pride really means to them. Some people live in states where it is actually quite frightening to be who you are. And that is why Pride is important. We definitely have to keep going until we have freedoms for everybody in this country. And you're not afraid to be who you are. Okay, here I am with one side of the rhinestones done, which creates such a cool effect with all of the Swarovskis here on my mouth. So I'm going to go ahead and stone the other side of my face to see how they all match. Alright, now I've got all of the sequins set on my face, but there's one last step of sequins that I want to do. I'm going to take these black sequins and go around the perimeter of my nose and just around the perimeter of my eye as well. I don't want to get any closer to my eyelid, but I will just accentuate it with these black sequins. Now that all the rhinestones are glued onto the face, we are almost done, but I want to put a little more dimension into the face by using a black eyeshadow, maybe on the jawline, the throat, here in the temples and the ears, so that's what I'm going to do right now. Now once I finish this shading, I'm going to do a quick costume change and I'm about done. And voila, there you have it you guys. This is my interpretation of a pride inspired skull. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope wherever you're going to be celebrating pride that you're able to wear all of your true colors and be yourself. Express yourself however you want, whether that be through makeup or through fashion or through the songs that you sing. I hope that you are able to be yourself this pride season. And thank you guys for following along this tutorial and thank you Cinema Makeup School for having me. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below and you can find me on all social media platforms at Daniel Z R O T F L. 
See you later, you guys. Bye-bye.